Hi everyone! I hope that you're doing amazing wherever you are in the world. My name is Boom Shikha and I welcome you to my channel. As always, I'm so grateful that you're listening, subscribing and commenting. I really appreciate support. In this one, I wanted to speak to you a little bit about gratitude and how I've kind of noticed that I'm trying to bring more and more gratitude into each aspect of my life, even the most mundane of aspects, I'm trying to bring gratitude into it. Um, one really random example of this is just the fact that I have a body. It seems very random and mundane. You know, you kind of have a body and you kind of walk around with a body and you have all of these aspects to it and it does all of these things that we don't even think about automatically. You know, it's breathing all the time, it's uh, cleaning itself out, out all the time, it's detoxing all the time. It's creating all of these different chemicals and hormones and all of these things that keeps it in balance without you even thinking about it, right? I mean, so it's all happening in the background. You're not thinking about it. It's happening automatically every single day until obviously there is a little bit of a problem and you have an illness or a disease. But in general, if you're a healthy human being, you're walking through the world with this amazing, powerful apparatus or whatever you want to call it, a body that works perfectly. And we never actually really most of us, I think, don't really ever give gratitude for it until or unless we see someone who has no limbs or who has no eyesight who, or who has some kind of problem with their body. And then we're all of a sudden reminded of the fact that we have a body that works perfectly, that functions beautifully, that functions automatically without a lot of our input and kind of we, we just kind of take it for granted. Right. So it's a very mundane thing to kind of be grat grateful for, but I kind of, I'm trying to bring grat gratitude into the, even the mundane or the inane aspects of my life. Now, of course, it's very easy for me to be grateful for the fact that I have, you know, food every single day. I don't have to worry about food. I don't have to, I don't have to worry about clean drinking water. I have people in my life who love me and who are always there for me. Uh, that's beautiful outside. It's sunny. Today, actually, it's raining, but I love the rain as well. So, you know, we're in, it's very easy for us to bring those aspects of gratitude into our life, I believe. But I think it's very, it's much harder to bring gratitude into these aspects of life that are kind of boring or just day to day. They, we don't actually think about it because they kind of become a part of our life, right? One of these things that I wanted to share was in general, the fact that I have a meal every single day that I can eat three meals, actually more than that, three or four, five, six meals if I wanted, but normally three meals a day. And in fact, most of the time I'll sit down to have a meal and I'm just sitting there, you know, having putting shoveling food into my mouth, not even thinking twice about it. And I'll literally try as much as possible to slow down, to bring myself back to my body, to the present moment to be a little bit more mindful of it, to relax into the moment, to forget about the anxiety that I feel about, you know, putting food into my mouth as quickly as possible. And I'll really just try to enjoy everybody as, po as much as possible. Now, of course, I've done a video earlier on the Osawa diet, and I told you guys how it really reminded me that food is not only a source of nutrition for our body, but it's actually, it actually does a lot of different things for our body. And it's actually the way you look at your food is the way you look at life and vice versa. And so I've really been trying to, as I said, slow down with my food, really appreciate each bite, appreciate the flavors. My mom, who cooks in the house, works so hard to put all of these intricate flavors into the food. And a lot of times, because I'm so busy just shoving it up into my mouth and not even thinking about it, I don't appreciate the effort that she puts into it. So, you know, I try to put appreciation for her and her effort and her cooking skill. She's a brilliant cook. And so just kind of trying to bring in all of those things, as I said, that kind of become a part of our daily life. You don't even think twice about it. You know, you, do you really think about the fact that you have eyes that can see? Not normally, no, unless you see a person who's blind or, you know, visually challenged. And then all of a sudden you're like, oh my God, I'm so grateful I have eyes uh, that work properly. Or in general, when you're walking around in, in a developed country, at least, you don't really think about the fact that you have clean drinking water. I always get this kind of perspective change when I move from Thailand back to Canada, when I go back and forth, because in Thailand, clean drinking water is not as easily available as it is in Canada. I can't just switch on a tap and drink water directly from the tap in Thailand. It's dangerous, it's dirty, and it can cause me illness. So as 
as soon as I come back to Canada, the, just the fact that I can switch on a tap and pour drinking water for myself and drink it without worrying about the fact that I might get sick from it, that in itself is a big reminder for me that you know I'm not appreciative of clean drinking water as much as I should be. Of course, also because you know I live in a developed country where yes, I have clean drinking water, but there is millions of people on the planet who don't have that. And so again, to be grateful for that. Very minor little things like the fact that it is summer right now in Canada and it is green right now in Canada. I think a lot of Canadians have this appreciation already that you know we are so grateful to have summer more so than any other country in the world i mean i'm guessing iceland and greenland and places like that are also in the same boat places like us where we only get maybe two three months of summer a year we're so grateful that we have these few moments maybe two months max of of sunshine that i know that canadians in general will walk around every day every single day that is sunny and and be grateful for it Whereas in some other country, perhaps in some other city, like maybe in Florida or California or um, even in Thailand, where it is sunny every single day almost, the appreciation of the gratitude comes a little bit later or comes a little bit slower or perhaps doesn't come at all, right? So all of this to say that I'm sure there are some things in your life, and I know there are some, many things in my life particularly, that I've kind of gotten used to that I don't actually even think about it they become automatic for me they're there and I'm just like yeah of course I have it why should I even think about it right it's only when something breaks is when you really start appreciating I know for me with my stuff my laptop uh, I it broke a couple of times this year and that's when I really started appreciating the fact that I have a laptop that works that allows me to do all these amazing things that allows me to earn my income online wherever I am I don't have to worry about any of that stuff I can be location independent, I can be wherever I want. And that kind of really made me appreciate my lifestyle a lot more, but also my laptop, which is like obviously a very mundane little tool, but of course very important in my daily lifestyle. So as I said, in your general life as well, I'm sure you can kind of start noticing, it doesn't have to be an all the time thing, but it can be a once or twice a day thing where you're kind of walking around and you suddenly appreciate something that is normally not appreciated. You know, it's very rare in Thailand for people to have bathtubs. It's just, I'm, I've seen maybe one in my entire four years there, and that was because the person actually had it built into their house because bathtubs are not a common thing. People just take showers or even, not even showers, just bucket water showers, right? Just buckets. And so that little thing, when I come back to Canada, not that I use it that much, but I am appreciative of the fact that I have a bathtub that I can use, that I have the potential to use that I have the capacity to use easily every single day. It's just available to me. It's just right there. I don't even think about it twice, right? So I'd love it if you guys would share with me a couple of these items that you have in your life. It could be people, it could be things, it could be situations, it could be anything really that you have, that you've kind of forgotten that you have, that you have gotten used to, that you don't appreciate anymore. I think we do this a lot with people. I'm sure there's some many people in your life that are always there and you just can't take them for granted. Perhaps with COVID, with the pandemic right now, you're not taking people for granted as much because, you know, it is a dangerous time to be alive. But in general, I know that sometimes I do take my parents for granted. I do take my siblings for granted. They're always there. They're always going to be there for me. Why should I even bother? Why do I even think about it? There's no point. Plane, give me a second. And so as I said, I'm really trying now to not take these people for granted. Friends, sometimes I do that with as well. You know, they're always there, they're around, I can call them anytime. And so then I, I start taking people for granted. Um, things, as I said. And so I'd love it if you guys shared a couple of those things, people, situations with me that you've started taking for granted and that you can maybe start appreciating a little bit more, maybe start showing a little bit more gratitude for. If you guys have that, to share with me I'd love if you put it in the comments below so that we can have a conversation about it if you want to share with me privately you can just send me a private message that would be awesome as well again I'm really grateful that you guys are listening subscribing and commenting I really appreciate the support I hope that you're enjoying the videos and again if you have any topics or video topics that you want me to do videos on obviously comment below or send me a private message as well thank you so much for watching I shall see you the next time around Bye for now.